how to pick the proper pole for you and what you need it for. Basically, you have two options. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna point out my two best options that I personally like. You have the X-Stage light, which is a 40 millimeter pole, but they do make them in 45 as well. Um, it's quite stable, and uh, the pole is, I believe, about nine feet tall, so it's fairly high. And then you have your one-piece poles, which are made by Platinum Stages, and uh, those are um, as high as your ceilings are, and you have them custom cut to whatever your ceiling height is. Now, which pole is best for you? If you own a studio or you're running pole dancing classes, I would highly recommend to invest in the one-piece poles. Very, very important. They're gonna be your safest bet and they're gonna be the easiest and the most stable and people are gonna probably be feel the most secure on them, especially new people, new, new pole dancers. The X-Stage light is really great for a lot of things. If your ceiling height is too high and it goes beyond 12 feet, X-Stage is a really, really great choice for you. Um, if you want to pole dance outside, which every pole dancer seems to want to do, um, that it's really great for that as well. The Platinum Stages pole is a tension rod and braces itself between the floor and the ceiling, so it needs to have a ceiling. So that one you're not going to be using outside. We also, or we, I don't, but there are also options to, um, to choose as far as how big the pole is and what's best for you. They make them in 50, 45, and 38, and sometimes 40. My X-Stage light is 40, which is really great. It's kind of in between that 45 and 38. The 38s are really good for spinning. Um, it's a really easy to get a great grip on your hand with your hand with that pole. So the smaller the pole, the more secure you're gonna feel when you have to wrap your hands around it. When you do inversions, it gets a little tricky because it is kind of like, where's the pole? Because it's so thin. Um, so the 45s are really great because it's that middle of the road. Um, you definitely can still get your hand around it. Your thighs can easily get around it when you're doing inversions. The 50 is good. It's a little old school. Um, not many companies are really uh, making a lot of those anymore. I think mainly they're going 45s and lower. But the 50s are good too, definitely when you do inversions, there's no question about where the pole is, so which is really nice. But if you're a small woman, maybe 5'4 and under, it's gonna be tough to get your hand around there and feel really secure. If you're looking for a pole for your home, I would either suggest the X-Stage Lite or uh, a tension rod that is multi-piece. That will give you the option to move it from room to room if the ceiling heights are different, um, take it to a friend's house, break it down and put it away so nobody sees it. Um, those poles are good for that. But if you have the option to have a one-piece pole in your home, maybe you own your home and you know it's gonna stay in your basement and the ceiling height isn't gonna change, you would maybe wanna consider a one-piece pole. Mm -hmm.